Hi everyone, I've just dismantled my Dyson DC50 two-tier radio cyclone. I couldn't find any help on the internet myself on how to do it, and I've just managed to get it apart, so I thought I'd put a video on myself to show people how it dismantles and how you can get into the, the cyclone bit. You need to get some two screwdrivers before we start. I bought these off eBay for £5. One is a T10 and one is a T8. Most of them you'll be doing with a T10, although there are some screws where you will need the T8. So the first thing you'll do is remove, remove the bin unit off your vacuum cleaner. Once you've done that, you're left with something like that. Obviously I've taken there, I've taken the bottom bit off, but you're left with something like that. Now to get this mesh off, all you need to do, I've taken it apart already so I'll just show you, get a, a kitchen knife or um, a bit of plastic and you can see these little clips here. Just prise underneath the, the mesh at the top with the knife and just until you hear a click and the mesh will pop out and once you've done it all the way around it will slide off like that. Oops. There we go. So that will come off completely. So these are, are quite stretchy at the top, although I wouldn't try too hard. Um, but they will they will unclip, and then you're left with with that unit. Now with your screwdriver, your T10, I've taken the screws out already, but you'll see that you need to undo these screws all the way around. Once you've done that, this will just lift off and then you can check in there for any blockages. <clears throat> there is a spring attached in here and that will probably pop out. Don't worry about that, it's really easy to put back in. So what you're then left with is the first part of the, the, the dual cycler. Now obviously there's another bit attached to this but I've, I've taken it off. <clears throat> which will look like this. So you can see inside it's nice and clean. Now I hope this will come out okay, but there is there is a screw hidden in there which you need to undo. Followed by these remaining four screws. Now I didn't see them at first because they were covered in dust. But they are there, you might need to uh, just give it a little brush inside. And you undo all of these and the ones around here with the T10 screwdriver. Once you've undone them all, this will just pull away. So initially, if I just put it back together, get it back on, sorry. Without, if I put it the right way on or not. So initially you would have had something like that. Okay. Once you've undone the screws, it just lifts off. <clears throat> now, what I haven't got here to show you because I put it somewhere else. There is a rubber uh, gasket on top of here that just simply lifts off, um, and you can give it a good clean again. There's nothing <clears throat> in here blocking it. That's nice and clean, so that's fine. Turn this upside down. So this is the top part. So once you've taken the two apart, that's where your air filter goes, is in there, which I've removed. And again, you've got a similar gasket on here, which you can just lift off if you so wish. Let's just take this off. And there we go. So that's nice and clean inside there. What I will say is be careful around here because there is a very, very thin rubber seal. I don't know if it will come out on here. Probably not. Just in there. Um, 
you really don't want that to come out because it's really difficult to get back in. It's not a gasket like the others, it's just a very thin, flexible bit of rubber. Now to get to get the lid off is a bit of a, a pain. <clears throat> you can see the screw holes on here. One, two, three, four, five, six of them. Now you will need your T8 screwdriver to undo these, not the T10. The problem is to undo them the screws are actually hidden you can see one there just in there they're actually hidden right down in between the cyclones and they're really difficult to get it I'm not sure how I'm going to put it back together actually um, you you need a magnetic end on the screwdriver for this but you can see it down there it takes a lot of patience and a lot of a lot of swearing to, to get at them. Those two are nice and easy. But it's these ones around here. Once you've undone those. The lid will just lift off. Like that. And then you're left with the top tier. And you can see in there that there's no blockages. What you will find as well probably is when you take it off, part of this will will come off as well. Don't worry about that. We can we can attach that back on once we screw it all back together. <clears throat> and that is generally it. Um, I'll just have to put it back together now. Uh, the only thing I forgot to mention is on the base part there is there's a little rubber gasket that you just pull off to get at the screws. Um, be careful with all the rubber gaskets. They're, they're really thin and I think they would break quite easily under pressure, particularly particularly these ones. And, uh, and that's generally it. I've just got to put it back together now. Um, I hope that's been useful. Um, and yeah, you will get very dusty. So I've done this on a worktop in the kitchen and given it a, a good clean. But um, put some sheets down, obviously. Okay, hope that was useful. Thanks. Bye.